school. Welcome to today's live newscast. The newscasters are Justin from Mrs. Venata's class and also Kirti from Ms. Venata's class. Today is Wednesday, October 27, 2010. It is a day two. Our character education thought of the day is telling the truth is always the right thing to do. And now for your up to the minute weather. Today is expected to be rainy with a th- with thunderstorm. The current temperature is a muggy 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The high is expected to be 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The low this evening will be 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be mostly sunny. There will be indoor races today. Today's lunch will be easy cheesy macaroni with or without ham. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tonight is the first game of the World Series between the Texas Rangers and the San Francisco Giants. Weather plays a major role in sports, including baseball. Let's take a look at a short video to see how humidity, wind, and temperature affects a baseball. It's known as America's national pastime, baseball. I'm weather bug meteorologist Rachel Peterson, and today we're going to talk about the effects of weather on baseball. So how does weather affect baseball other than delaying play or postponing a game? Every time a ball is hit or thrown, its movement is controlled by the direction the air is moving, how warm it is, and if it's dry or damp. As a baseball flies through the air, the air pushes back against it, decreasing the distance the ball travels, just like sticking your arm out the car window at 60 miles per hour. Feel the push? Think of that air resistance as density. The density of air is different from place to place and day to day, depending on temperature, humidity, and air pressure. Let's break it down. In thin air or low density air, a ball can travel faster and farther because there's less air resistance. Warm air is less dense or thinner than cold air. According to sportsweatherpage.com, a ball hit 400 feet at 75 degrees Fahrenheit would carry 408 feet at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Air under low pressure is also less dense or thinner than air under high pressure. This is the main reason balls carry farther in Denver, where the pressure at that elevation is always about 15% less than at sea level. A ball hit 400 feet at sea level would fly 430 feet in the thin Denver air. Here's a question for you. Can a dry baseball be hit farther than a humid one? Air with high humidity is less dense or thinner than dry air, so you may think it would travel farther. But the effects of humidity is just the opposite. Baseballs in a humid environment are actually heavier and less elastic than dry balls, so they can't be hit as far. Mythbusters built a machine that could pitch the ball at a constant speed and hit it with a constant force. The results of this test showed that when hit, a dry ball traveled the greatest distance, the one stored in average humidity didn't travel as far, and the one stored in high humidity traveled the shortest distance. Now many teams store their baseballs in a humid place to keep them from being hit too far. Here's a curveball for you. Since moist air is less dense than dry air, how does that affect the flight of the ball? It gives it more lift. Finally, the wind affects the baseball's path and distance. Air moving in the direction the ball is flowing makes it travel farther. In Philadelphia, Citizen Bank Park is known as a home run friendly place because the south and southwest winds of summer blow directly out to center and right center field. In fact, the wind is often the single most important factor to consider when talking about the effects of weather on baseball. A 400-foot home run on a calm day could turn into a 445-foot blast on a day with winds 15 miles per hour out towards center field. Play ball. As you can see, weather has a lot more to do with sports than just knowing if it is going to rain or not. Here are a few reminders. Don't forget about the Haunted High this Saturday. It runs from 5 to 10 p.m. 
wear a costume and get a dollar off. There is also a collection box by the main office for a new or gently used backpack. Here's a Halloween medal. What is Dracula's favorite fruit? A nectarine. For the BS Network, this is Kirti signing off. I'm Justin signing off. Tune in tomorrow for another exciting edition of the BS News. Have, Have a wondrous, wondrous Wednesday. Wednesday.